Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today I want to show you how to make these very cute face scrubbies out of cotton yarn. They are much softer than the usual crochet ones because they are made using Tunisian crochet stitches and as we all know that uh, this technique creates much softer and drapier fabrics. In this case we have a quite thick double layered circle worked in the round using a regular crochet hook. So you work like this around a central point. This pattern is very easy to understand and follow, especially if you've never tried Tunisian crochet before. It's very nice that you don't need any special tools, just a hook that's a bit larger than the um, hook you would use for this yarn. So let's get started. To make these face scrubbies you will need some cotton yarn. I normally just pick the basic cotton yarn in any shop that sells yarn. What you're looking for is that the yarn is not too twisted and that it's not shiny. You can choose one color or two colors to have different sides. Just look what you have in your stash and work with that. Normally for this kind of yarn you would use a 4mm hook but because we are working with Tunisian crochet, we will be using a 6mm hook or something close to 6mm if you don't have exactly 6mm. In this case, you don't really care about gauge, so it's alright to use whatever works with your tension. You also need a pair of scissors and a tapestry needle to finish off the piece. I will demonstrate how to make one side of this from the colorful yarn and then I will show you how to sew them up together to make a double-sided, very soft face scrubby. Make sure you leave a long enough tail because we will be using this to sew up the, the two sides that will come in contact when we go full circle. So we make a magic circle and then chain one inside the magic circle and make eight single crochet stitches. You don't want to pull on the tails too much because you want to have loose tension here to be able to work with a big hook. When we have eight single crochet stitches in the magic ring we pull on the ring to close it. This is not part of the Tunisian crochet technique, but it's a great way to start a circle. We slip stitch into the first single crochet and then the fun begins. First we chain 5. Again, loose tension. You don't want to pull on the chains here. That's five. And then we pick up loops in the back bumps of these chains. We pick, we pick up five loops. And then in the same stitch that we started from, we pick up another loop. Normally you would chain one and then yarn over and pull through two, but because we are working into a base, we will just yarn over, pull through two, all the way to the end. Until we have one loop left on the hook. This is the first row, and now we have a short row. The short row is exactly the same, except we don't put any stitches in the foundation here, we just work in the loops here. This is a short row of four Tunisian simple stitches, so we pick up four loops. And again, this is not normal Tunisian crochet, so we don't chain one here. We yarn over and pull through two all the way to the end. This is a short row, made of four Tunisian simple stitches. 
Next, we make another row of five Tunisian simple stitches. We go through the loops here for the first three stitches, and then through the bottom loop here on the first row, so we don't work in the fourth stitch of the short row. And then we continue as usual. And when we reach the foundation, we put the second stitch here. So yarn over, pull up loop through the same single crochet. And then we return yarn over, pull through two. Again, a short row of four. Again, yarn over, pull through two. We put another five Tunisian simple stitches here and we put them in the second sing uh, single crochet stitch from the foundation row. So we pick up three loops here, the fourth and fifth in the base, and then the last stitch in the second single crochet. And then we continue like this all around. At the end we should have, when we count like this, we should have 32 stitches. I will resume when I finish going around. I hope you pause this video to continue to work on your own piece. And now I will show you how to finish it off. I have two rows left, one row of five Tunisian simple stitches. Put it in the last single crochet stitch. and one row of four Tunisian simple stitches. If you look at it, you will realize that this last stitch is decreased, but this makes a nice wedge that you can't see in the finished piece. All right, so now we finished all of the rows, should have a circle, and now we have an option. We can weave in the first end, this one, to make the nice front edge here and I think that's what we should do actually first or we can unite the, the two pieces together and then weave in the end but I think it's better if I show you first how to do it independently so you know how to do it for the other side as well first we slip stitch into the top here and pull up a long loop because we will be using this to crochet the two sides together very important, please count your stitches now, make sure you have 32. And then take your tapestry needle and put this end through. Bring it to the front and through one of the stitches. Now we will be uniting these horizontal bars that the Tunisian simple stitch creates to hide these ugly sides. So what we will be doing is pulling, essentially pulling the horizontal bar from here all the way to here. So make sure you start with the first horizontal bar. We have five, yes? One, two, three, four, five. 
we go through from below and then go to the other side and find the horizontal bar in this case here it's blue and go up through that one and then pull in the end you won't see this little yeah, uh, this little thread because it will be hidden in the stitches so again the next bar you can just look at these circles so the next bar is here we go up and then the next bar on this side is here and pull this pushes the the sides here to the back okay the next horizontal bar is not this one it's here it's important to get the last one and the first one is here then the next one is up here and the next one on the side and the last one now you see that we united the loops you can pull a bit to make the stitches a bit loose to have some elasticity and then go to the back of the work and do the usual weaving through of the yarn so we go back and forth three times you can go across or along the stitches but I I prefer to work a bit further away from this area you can see you, you cannot really see from the back where the the ends are so we go down or up in this case don't pull too tight come back through another stitch close by and then back up again This is how I weave in my ends and they never skip. Now we can cut this off. We can even leave a short tail because it doesn't really matter. To make sure that, that this tail doesn't come out. All right, then we turn back and we take the second piece. We face them together, they don't have to be aligned on the join. Then we take back the hook. You have several options here, you can do slip stitches, single crochet stitches, reverse single crochet. In this case, let's go with uh, slip stitches, just make sure you don't pull too tight on them, otherwise you're gonna have puckering and you don't want that. We put th the hook through one stitch on, on this piece and one stitch on the back piece. Yarn over, pull through one. Don't pull too tight, okay? And we just continue like this. This is nice because it creates a finished edge and it's not too loose, not too tight. It's just right. When we reach the end, we cut off the tail and then instead of slip stitching back into the first stitch, we pull up this loop, put it through the needle, and then finish with the invisible slip stitch 
we follow the, this pattern. So we make an, uh, an artificial loop, let's call it. We go from the yarn, from the top here, we go behind the first slip stitch, and then we go back into this last loop. This creates an invisible join, which is much prettier than just slip stitching. Now we can go through and weave in the end. We cut off the excess and there you have it, a nice little face scrubby which you can use to remove makeup or wash your face, what, wash different things. You can also use it as a coaster, it's very thick though, so for a coaster you could just use one layer instead of two. If you want to use it as a coaster, you can add edges, decorations, anything you want. You can make several of these and add them to a nice gift package. Anyone would be happy to have these. They're very soft, much softer than the usual crochet versions. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you will make many of these and I hope you will come back for more tutorials. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you want to be notified when I publish more tutorials, please subscribe to the channel and ring the little bell so you get a notification. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!